Welcome. This is Ops Build Vodka, round two in a trilogy of uh, wonderful missions on the NTTR. Okay, so what I want to start off with is a review actually of the situation mission in order of battle. So if you open up the briefing, I will start with the situation. So six days ago, Russian forces attacked the entire west coast of the United States in a blitz attack. Fairchild Air Force Base, Edwards, and other strategic bases were lost. Two days ago, we successfully repelled the Russian attack against McCarran International Airport and the city of Las Vegas. That was Crunchy Banana. We sustained heavy damage to Nellis, but Creech has survived and now our base of operations for the foreseeable future. The Russians sustained heavy losses in their attack two days ago, and we've managed to get reinforcements from various units across the central and eastern U.S. The light damages we took to Creech and other airplanes uh, have virtually been repaired. Groom Lake still remains under our control thanks to the black money we've spent on the Super Secret Squirrel tech. It seems like the Russians were going to try to take that field after they'd secured Nellis and McCarran. Good thing they won't. Conditions now are ripe for a counterattack against the Russians in an attempt to recapture lost ground. Expect the Russians will not anticipate our specific attack, but they have built up their SAM and AAA coverage in the past 48 hours to help cover their considerable air losses. This mission uh, will begin phase one to retake Tonopah. Commander's task priorities, air superiority, seed limiting blue air freedom of movement, and then ground strikes at Tonopah. Number four, CSAR, uh, but there's no one called CSAR today. If you bail out, you're going to have to hunker down overnight and we'll get you tomorrow. Let's uh, jump over to the order of battle because I want to go over that and make sure that's uh, <coughs> covered. Okay, so if you bring up the order of battle link, we have in the first column, Tonopah. There are multiple SAM threats to include the known SA-10, probable IR SAMs, AAA, and man pads. Aircraft, yes. Tonopah will have two to eight serviceable F-5s and up to two MiG-31s. So there's an enemy Kuznetsov, which is about 400 miles west-northwest of the AO. It's off the coast of San Francisco. Uh, it carries SU-33s. Kuznetsov has been observed only miles off San Francisco, meaning its range to Tonopah AO is roughly 400 miles. Bottom line, carrier-based cap will be airborne over Tonopah. Scheduled air reinforcements could already be in route at the mission start. Additional reinforcements can arrive 45 to 60 minutes after threat detection. That concludes the order of battle briefing. Are there any questions? All right, Butterfly, the brief is yours. Lovely. All right, uh, morning, afternoon, evening, everyone. Uh, as I'm sure most of you are aware, we have a thing to do. Uh, Peter just nicely went for our mission, our situation, uh, the successes, the failures. What I specifically want for this operation is under the mission objectives. So I am after zero blue losses to SAMs. I don't want to lose any more than 25% of friendly people. I don't want to lose any strikers. So cap people, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to cop some missiles for cap or for strikers if it comes to it. Uh, I want all commits, targeted, foxes. I want all of them to be voiced. I don't want any mergers because F5s are deadly at night and MiG-31s are scary. All right, let's go through the game plan. So the way it's going to be uh, run out is we're separating this into three separate moves or stages. Uh, I've got the first move, which consists of package alpha going in and taking out this SA-6 here and this SA-10 here. After that is done, and if we don't find any more pop-up SAMs, we're going to establish a cap about there. So Condor's going to take out this SA-6 and it's going to take out this SA-10. We're then going to get on this seat cap. Uh, so for the power of mission planning, cyber stuff, and other coolness, there is going to be a cyber attack on the SA-10, which is going to turn off its uh, radars and anything fun like that for about three or so minutes. During this time, Condor is going to run in the however many miles and not die, uh, which is how we plan on taking out the SA-10. With Condor coming in first, we're going to have Bear escorting us so we can deal with the, uh, what do they call that? Uh, flankers or anything else that decides, oh no, Jet's scary, and takes off. Bear is then going to go into Cap Alpha and is going to be looking out in the general direction of the Kuznetsov, which is there. 
Mods for the AdWare stuff is good. Uh, they go into voice partner. And then if everything is still going well, uh, Kestrel is going to take off from Creech probably before that. Uh, mm -hmm. Join up with the A10s who are chilling <coughs> at Alamo. They're going to fly that way. They're going to do some dimpies. They're going to head home. All right, rolling on over to Squawk Codes. If we have a look at this lovely purple sheet of colors, uh, you can see more than likely your name through here. If your name is not here, we have a problem and you should probably leave. Or you should speak up. Flight leads, make sure to mention your squad codes. Uh, inner flights should be mentioned to people in your flights as well. Uh, check them with your mission number, which is that thing there. Stick to your tasking. And this is where we're coming out of, which is uh, Creech. Unless you know you're on the air wax. Creech to Alpha 7. Air 7, go ahead for Creech. Air 7, flight, look at the taxi. Air 7, Creech Tower, taxi runway 26 via Gulf Bravo, cross runway 13. 265, Gulf Bravo, cross 13, Gulf, uh, bear. Creech Ground, Talon 51, flight of 4, ready to taxi. I step on somebody? Taxi runway 26 behind Bear Flight. Taxi via Golf Bravo Cross runway 13. Golf Bravo Cross 13, follow Bear, Town 51. Bear 71, Condor 31. Two's taxi in sequence. My grandma in a wheelchair can move faster than this taxi. Give them all to the Hornets. <laughs> yeah, they're all gonna be gone before we take off. Yeah. All players, Creech Tower, we appreciate your patience in this line uh, photo ops taking place. Good thing we look sexy. Except our canopies are in different positions. <laughs> Need all the viz you can get at night. And Condor Flight, Creech Tower, altimeter today, 29er decimal 65, winds are calm, clear for takeoff, runway 26, on departure, make right heading 010, climb maintain 8000 feet. Condor Flight, clear for takeoff, on departure, left turn, uh, can I get that heading again? Climb maintain 8,000. Condor Flight Creech Tower, make a right hand turn heading at 0, 010. Zero. Climb maintain 8,000. Condor Flight on departure, right turn heading at 0, 010. Zero. Climb maintain 8,000. Condor. You know what I 
guys appreciate about y'all. Y'all stagger your taxi. Elephant Walker bust, baby. We know it's up. It's more like we know how much space these hornets in front of us are taking. I also love that Knight and I haven't touched our brakes this entire time. We've got them stopped at least. Speak for yourself, yeah. <laughs>
breach. Ground, taxi runway 26, leave. Two sides, Vietnam, 7 Line up and wait, runway 26. Bangs out, fence in.